Hey guys, uh, just want to show you how to install MySQL slash Workbench. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to your favorite browser, whatever you use, uh, obviously Google, and type in MySQL installer. And it will be the first lead that comes up. You click on that. And then what you want to do is you want to come down here to MySQL Community Service. Then you want to go all the way down to the page until you see MySQL Installer 5.6 for Windows. I apologize for Mac people. I don't know how to do the Mac part. Maybe it could be similar to this way. Uh, maybe this video can help you. Uh, uh, basically help you guide yourself to figure out the Mac way to install MySQL. But anyways, this is for Windows. Uh, here you can see you want to download this. This will give you both version of the either 32-bit or 64-bit. Um, now you just download it. Click on uh, whichever. I'm clicking on the, this one. doesn't really matter. And then you want to say no thanks. I just want my just want to start my download. And then you want to say save and install. It's downloading for me right here. And this is going to go to my Windows Explorer files, and it's going to download in my Windows Explorer files. And then what you want to do is you want to look for your file or your download file. And here it is. So you click on that and say, I want to run it. And it prepares it. And uh, give it a few minutes. Say yes, it's preparing the installation. And then you could get something like for Windows 7, you just click yes and it'll keep continuing the installation uh, also uh, my computer's taking a little bit it could take longer for your computer faster for one uh, anybody else's computer all right here we go it's preparing everything okay so first you want to accept the uh, in user policy next and then now you want to go to custom custom and hit next now all you're gonna need is just go to MySQL server and click on which one you have 32 bit or 64 bit mine is a 64 carry it over there okay next you want to go to app application look up for workbench uh, doesn't matter which workbench you choose. I uh, just click one. Oh wait, this might be a 32-bit workbench, and this might be. Yep, make sure it's a 64-bit workbench. Then go to Notifier. Connectors. And I think that should be it. And after that, uh, make sure you have documentation. And these are all the things you're going to need to uh, complete the download to get MySQL server set up and the workbench set up. Click next. 
click execute and if you get this just say install it's installing visual C++ for you so you can be able to run the workbench Still waiting. All right, success. Then you want to hit next, and it shows all your stuff that you have ready, set to go. Just click execute. And then you wait for that all to download into your computer. And some of these parts you can just skip over in this video. Um, I'm just showing you the whole thing, showing you it will successfully work and me not having any trouble. And for you to not have any trouble. It's taking a pretty good while, but uh, just bear with me here. Just trying to make sure that everything is going to work correctly, no problems at all. And you shouldn't have any problems. Almost there. All right. Oh, now we're in the installation process, which is not taking too long. They're going by pretty fast. At least I thought.
All right, now I'll just hit next, next, and uh, then you want to create a password. Uh, mine's weak, but I just did something simple. After you create a password, hit next, and next. And execute and it will finish the installation and then I'll open the workbench hit finish next finish and go down to MySQL there's your board bench, open workbench. It will come up and ask for your password when you hit this. And type in your password. And here you go. This is the workbench. Basically you input you basically start a script. And after and create a table. After you've done creating the table, you hit this, and it executes the table, creating a schema. You name the table, and which creates the schema over here. And once the table's done executing down here, you hit refresh, and your your new database will be set here. So, for example, if you want to create a table called print, and you created all the tables that you want, and you execute it, and it executes successfully. You refresh this and you'll say print down here. I hope this video was very helpful and hopefully hopefully you won't have any trouble uh, creating your own tables.